Dennis Wise coming over to me um, because I, I took, uh, I was taking too long for the ball when he just like abused me. Uh, and then later on in the game, um, obviously they turned the game round and uh, they were seeing it out. And obviously I remember what Dennis Wise said to me, so I was rushing over and I think it was Gareth Hall come over and <laughs> give me a rollicking for being too quick. So it um, wasn't probably the best ball boy, but it was a great experience being close to the to the pitch and obviously in those days Stamford Bridge was, you know, there was cars behind the goal and you actually did need a ball boy, you know. When you were playing with, with, with Prozelitsky, he was a character as well, you know, what a player. You could see obviously he, he couldn't really move much, and, but he didn't need to, literally. To, I think I got 19 goals for Portsmouth that season and uh, he put everyone on the plate, you know, so he was a class player. It was always funny because you knew that he understood more than he was letting on because you speak to him one on one, he could speak perfect English. But as soon as you told him to track back, he was like, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at half time, uh, before the game in the change room, half time in the shower. Uh, like, obviously, the shower wasn't on, but you'd have one at half time and then straight after the game, yeah. So, uh, red Marlboros as well, the heavy stuff, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I felt, I felt like I, probably my biggest regret, I know it was out of my control, but it was probably my biggest um, regret in, in football, really. It's, I, I felt like I should have started that game. Um, obviously, it was myself and Bellamy on the bench, and um, Rafa decided to play Kite up front on his own, and I just felt that that Milan team was similar to the one in 2005, but just older. And I just felt if we'd have attacked them, you know, we played five midfield and kite there, you know. And I just felt we didn't go for it really. And I think uh, we played into their hands and, um, and they hit us with two goals. And I felt if I, you know, not, even, not just even me, but even you know, if you played Bellamy or, or, or me with kite, um, I just felt we'd have had more of a chance. And I felt that you know the game was there for the taking. And uh, you know, obviously. In the run-up to that, I'd scored a load of goals in that Champions League in the run-up and I'd played pretty much every game. So to, to not play in that final was, um, yeah, it was devastating really. I think it was before the Champions League final. And uh, yeah, we, run, we went, to, I can't remember where we were, I think we were in Portugal. And uh, on a, we had a week before the, um, before the game, and we went away, and uh, we were tra training, and we went go karting. Went out, and obviously gone going around the track, and uh, I've come in, I flew into the pit. You know, obviously when we stop, and I just thought, right, I'll just break now, no breaks whatsoever. Just come into the pits. I've seen Alonso, and I've seen Kite, and I thought, who's, who's more valuable? <laughs> I've swerved into Kite, and uh, fair play to him. He uh, he literally jumped with his legs. Like that, and then um, yeah, I switched on straight through, but I didn't, uh, there was no, I just couldn't stop, and then I was back out on the track. And uh, God's honest truth, it was quite dangerous. Um, obviously, you can laugh about it now because I didn't cause any injury, but um, I remember as I went back out, just panicked, uh, stood up on the thing and just jumped out, and the carch went into the wall and like started burning. and. Uh, I was, then I was, as I was walking back, I seen Rafa's face, and he was like, basically, you know, thought I was an idiot. And I, obviously, I said, look, I said, Gaffer, I said, uh, I didn't, you know, I, I, nothing to do, the brakes didn't work. Anyway, the man got back in the, in the car to test it, and um, yeah, sure enough, no brakes. They'd, so, they'd failed me. Yeah, well, I taught him everything, like, everything he knows, you know, so I knew he was going to be good. Um, no, obviously he was a different class. In all honesty, when he was a kid, he uh, used to train with us, he used to come over and train with us. Um, yeah, we, I, don't, you know, I don't think anyone would have said that you thought he'd be getting 30 Premier League goals every season, uh, like he has done, or, you know, 25 goals or whatever. Um, but he always scored goals. Um, whenever he came over, he'd be, he'd be banging in training and uh, you know, his finishing was always good. But um, I just think he's worked so hard on it and I think he's improved year on, year out. And uh, for me now, um, you know, he's, he's one of the best, if not the best in the Premier League. He's, uh, 
he's incredible. Strikes with both feet, um, you know, manages to get his shot off. He can hold the ball up, he can head it. Um, I love watching him and I'm really pleased for him as well because, you know, he's always a good lad. He's always listening. He always wanted to learn and you could see that he was working hard. He'd always do some finishing after training and uh, we did a lot of work together when I was there. And he, was, uh, he was always hungry and you could see that desire in him. I'd like to think I would have had options. Yeah, no, maybe. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, I think I probably would have worked with my dad in advertising. Yeah, yeah. Answering that seriously.